Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series. We are the manager of Hemel Hempstead and we are in the Vanarama National League. We are still in this division, but improvement is on its way. So how are we doing? Let's go find out. Let's jump into the transfers. So instead of going into their profiles, I think this is just a good summary way of doing things. Jay Turner Cook, he is on a free transfer. We, actually, he's on a no non-contract. Pretty good. And he has come from Luton on a free transfer. Left butted and he can play in a cam. I think he can actually play left and right as well. Then we loaned Jordan Ledwards. Remember him last season? He played for crew eight games and scored six goals. We loaned him. He did pretty well for us and we've brought him in on a free. He didn't want to renew. I think crew actually got relegated. Look at those stats. 19 years old. He is looking pretty good. I think so far he's having a good season for us, but we will go into that detail shortly. And then, I mean, our transfers have gone right up to the end of November. Uh, for, it's not even summer transfers, but there's only one player there. The uh, rest has been maintained. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven players in. It's like building a whole new starting eleven. Joe Taylor on a free transfer. Welsh striker. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look that great, if I'm honest, but he's just back up, right? Then we've got Henry Bullen, our goalkeeper, and number one. He looks pretty good. He stats ticks every box that we want him to be achieving, especially at this level. I mean, look at all those mild greens. I mean, one bright green. So anything 15 and above is a bright green and anything between 10 and 14 is a mild green. And then we've got for orange and then we've got for red. So red means crap, orange means meh, especially down this level. And then for green, mild green is it's good. I mean, that's kind of stats that we want at this level. I and mean, then obviously when you go into Premier League, you want it all to be bright green. And in Championship, you want to get more and more of them. Quality and key stats. Then we've got Adam Cockbill. Cockbill. And again, I mean, four centre-back. 10 double digits, double digits. Tackling on 12, 18 bravery. Composure could be better. Not bad concentration and good strength. Jumping reach. Yeah, he's all right. 18 years old. He's really young. I like bringing in for youngsters. George Maris. He's uh, just said like bringing in youngsters when I've got a 32 year old. But you need to strike that balance of young and experience, right? So again, he's just going to be a backup. It does say here emergency backup. He's on non-contract, so zero pounds a week. And we pay him if we play him. And yeah, he's all right. Let's not waste time on him. And then we brought in Brandon Lee from Barnsley he's actually on loan from Barnsley sorry and um he's on zero pounds per week again back up Dante Casanova I like this player again position fantastic determination fantastic natural fitness fantastic as a right wing back that's probably where we're gonna deploy him most dribbling not so good crossing not so good but he does offer us something in terms of determination and his positioning especially but you get him so far forward actually making up that decision and being determined having that fitness i mean his decisions isn't bad either so he will be in the right place at the right time it's just whether or not can he do something with it 24 years old Oh yeah, how much are we paying him? We are paying him £900 a week. So quite premium for us. George Morgan and number, I was going to say number nine striker, but number 19. I think he does become a number nine. He is on loan. We are paying him £1.1,000 from Peterborough. He starts dribbling. Yes. Finishing. Yes. Technique. Yes. Not so good on heading, but tell you what, he has scored plenty of headers so far. Jumping reach probably helps that, I guess. 14. He can jump over defenders i don't know how tall he is we don't get that much that's here no we don't but again if he's tall he's got jumping reach and it's a nice played ball to him he's going to score those goals iwan gordon clement iwan ewan maybe it's ewan ewan gordon clement again these are some stats that we just never had before determination natural fitness bright green and then ticking the boxes as a winger or striker finishing composure dribbling not so great on crossing but good thing is we don't really have wingers we have our fullbacks to whip in for ball so yeah really happy with him and then daniel batty our latest signing reminds me of 
David Butty. I don't know if they're related or not. But with it being D Butty, it does feel like that I've got a defense, defensive midfield legend in namesake anyway. But I like him. He again ticks boxes in all for technical aspects you would expect for defense midfielder very strong on mentality where you would again want him to be uh physical could be a little bit better but i'm still happy with that oh yeah and he was on a free transfer and we're paying him 950 pounds per week so we are up in our budget we did get rid of adu poco and hackford on for other side of our transfer business while i'm on budgets how are we spending? So we've got £15,000 per week budget and we are currently spending £14,113. So we've got £1,000 to play there. Our cup run money is slowly running out. As you can see, we've only got £118,000 in for bank. At our peak of that cup run, we did have £517,000. We did sell a player there as well for like £130,000. It all helps, but we are in positive, which is really good if we look at our debts. We have a tiny little debt of being 54k and we're literally paying 950 pounds per month from that not too bad we are six games into for season and we are unbeaten and we win 6-2 at home against torquay this is how good our season has started last two seasons can't stress enough we did not win our first nine games but this is amazing unbeaten in six to win 6-2 against Torquay as well. They're quite an established team around this uh, in this division, or maybe even in League 2. Hobson gets one there. What were you on? Uh, ah, it doesn't even have them. Why does that have them up top? Like, it has these goals. Highlights are a game error, game graphical glitch, whatever it is. But anyway, let's look at some of these goals. Cockbill crosses it into Ledwards and he headers it down. Got Bill again on the right, crosses it in to Ledwards again. It felt like a bit of a repetitive goal then. It's quite funny to watch. And then Remy tries to cross it in, tries again. Doi, Remy, Got Bill, Got Bill finds goal. To assist, look at those player ratings, look at those stats. So who scored for us? Mackenzie, Remy, Hobson, Ledwards, Ledwards and Got Bill. Six, two. Looking out for match stats. 29 shots, 12 on target, nearly a 4 XG versus their 2. So actually, we overscored XG. 63% possession, amazing high intensity sprints. We deserve winning this game. We was all over them. Quick look at for XG because I, because apparently XG is the most important data in the world now. <laughs> but I think only about 10% of people actually like XG to use as data. I like it when it does tell a story, but sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. That's the only thing. That's why I was saying let's put more like little boxed graphs or I don't know. It needs more. Not such a big goal scoring scoreline, but we have just gone 13 games unbeaten and the uh, luck is falling with us. Mackenzie, it looped over for goalkeeper from outside the box. What a header. But yeah, 13 games unbeaten. Yes, there has been some draws. But you know how I was saying about that? We need to find consistency of turning losses to draws and draws to win. We are doing that and we are doing it in style. In style. Look, 16 shots, 7 on target. Look, all, all everything's red. Everything's red. It's amazing. High intense sprints. Possession, 65%. I don't even want to play possession. But then again, win for ball. And we just chance after chance after chance. They had two shots, one on target. So definitely our defense is working the way we need it to work. Our attack is working. We're holding for ball play. We're creating, creating, creating. And we are doing very well indeed. You will see throughout the whole highlights that the tactic is 4-2-3-1. Sometimes it might change two up top, but that is because that is our attacking formation where we we just want to utilize one of the DMs and put them up top. That's it. So straight after our 13th game unbeaten, we lose our first game of the season against Dover, who seems to be a team that will threaten us. By the way, we are currently top of the table, and Dover are, I think they're in for playoffs, maybe third or second. Away, it was always going to be a tough game. Dover's on form, we was on form, and you could argue we could have got a draw from this game. 
because if we go match stats, we had 22 shots to their eight. We was for away team, had a little bit more possession, 53%. Clear cut chances, they have for two clear cut chances. But XG, we had for better XG, only just, but it probably shows the tail of the game that it should have been maybe a draw. We could have nicked something off it. We had more intensity sprints, a lot more red again is showing does xg tell you how it should be yeah our game was growing and they they just took their chances that's how it shows to me probably for most dominance probably have for more momentum but they took their chances and therefore we lost 2-1 team didn't play that well but then again if you're not winning these aren't going to show great stats anyway after losing to dover we do go back on our unbeaten run and this is our seventh game without a loss and we beat Dagenham and Redbridge 5-1 at home. Casanova down for right. We are never. We missed one of the goals. Into Hobson. Hobson gets the goal. And then is that a penalty? No, it's not. But we carry on playing. Morgan in the box to Casanova to Ray. Mr. Dependable. Mr. Hemel Hempstead himself. That's what I probably will, should call him. And to be fair, even if we did get promoted, I will probably keep him mixed season as well. There you go, there's Dagenham Redbridge. Consolation goal, Casanova runs up the defence. You can notice that Cockbill has been dropped and Casanova is back in that white place. His form was just, went rubbish. But Cockbill probably came on the bench there and gets a goal, funny enough, just as I say that. Did he start? Oh no, he started for us. I've moved him over to centre-back uh, because probably one of our centre-backs needed a rest. So Casanova comes in. So I'm finding these players are performing well in different positions, which is amazing to have. Look at the last two seasons with our defence. We've got all greens in our defence performance rating. Amazing. 5-1. Quick look at the stats. 16 shots, 11 on target today, 11 and 7. XG shows that it should have been, what, 2 all, 3 2. But hey, -oh, we take the chances. We had the possession 65%. We have intensity sprints and we had everything else. It was a deserved victory at the end of the day. Last match highlight of this. And we actually went on four or five games. Couldn't get a win. We drew a couple. Oh, that's it. Four games. We drew two and lost two. We are out of FA Cup, but we are still in for FA Trophy because I haven't showed any highlights on that. But we beat our Nemesis team, South End, 3 1. As you saw there, that was a really good goal. I don't even know who it was from, but Ledwards crosses in. Morgan, I told you about Morgan. It's his jumping reach, right? It's got to be. Is this where South End gets their consolation goal? Yeah, Russell Pond just runs through my whole defence. And what was Bottomley doing? At the moment, we've got a bit of a goalkeeper fight going on. Bottomley and Bullen, they go on in form. And then suddenly we just, I mean, Bullen, for instance, last four games, he's conceded every game, so he had to be dropped. But so did Bottomley. But we got the win. And that's all what matters sometimes. Quick look at the stats for our last match highlight. 19 shots and 7 on target. 10 shots, 2 on target for South End. 68% possession. Again, we're not a possession team, but we are holding that possession. All reds, all reds, all reds. We deserve a win. Let's not discuss it anymore. XG shows you that story even though that XG was pretty tight. So this is the league table. We are top of the table by one point. Dover is in fifth team we lost to. We have lost three games, actually. And if we look at them, they have all been away. We lost to Boston 2-1. We lost to Eastbourne Borough 2-1. And we lost to Dover, shown in for highlights, 2-1. I'm happy with that. Maybe too many draws. Maybe we now need to look at turning those draws into wins. But is that me asking for too much? Probably. Look at that goal difference. Let's actually open up the stages a little bit more. Just to see how many goals we scored. We scored 57 goals, conceded 26. We do have the best attack and the best defense in the league, giving us a goal difference of 31. Amazing, right? Amazing, amazing. Mr. Hemel Hempstead himself, Joe Ray, 7.31, the leader of the average rating charts so far in January. And this is why I want to show this because I think if we're doing well, I need to show more content of us doing well, right? It's working for us. Whatever we're doing, it's working. Is it for tactic? Is it for players that we've brought in to suit for tactics? Those 11 new signings, is that what is really making us go well so far or sometimes we know it happens in football in real life and in this game is we crumble 
and we end up out of playoffs and we go oh crap you know what if that happens it's not going to be a sad face on my thumbnail next video it's going to be an angry face and probably me handing in my notice quick run through of the fixtures i know that we showed for key highlights this just shows the picture right i mean if, even what pre-season by the way <laughs> green greens and yellows this is what we want to see and then we went on that really good unbeaten run in august september it came to an end in mid-october to dover we lost in first round in the fa cup against peterborough who are in league one so two divisions above us can't argue at that i mean we was at home but still it's always going to be a tough game and then we went month of november unbeaten it was only four games and then December. December was hard. I was trying to rotate my squad, obviously keep everyone fit. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I think I didn't have any choice. But some of the results, I mean, free all. Then we lost those two ones. Yeah, we fell apart a little bit. I'm glad that I've got to end the match highlights on a positive note that we're back in winning ways. And who knows what the next one, two, three, four months is going to bring us. Can we get down to April with a chance of playoffs, winning for league? So as I always do on every video now, anyway, is just end up on our tactics and nothing's changed. I know that I haven't gone into the details of like the play instructions and in possession, in transition, out possession and how we created it. But as I said, I'm not going to go into the detail unless I know it's going to be a success. We've played half a season. It's doing really, really well for us. And who knows but anyway we are using this so for four two three one formation and we do have uh attacking i mean they're both attacking but as you can see if you look up for intensity does intensify a little bit up and we lose one dm and we gain a striker and that's why it's more attacking than this formation this was the last team i played so bottom knee and goal to be fair he's a left back he's a right back he's a right back he's a left midfielder defense midfielder left wing left back he's a maybe a striker but i'm playing on inside forward left and he's playing all right hobson's a cam ledwoods is a striker but i'm playing him as a inside forward right and morgan is a number one striker at the moment how many goals has he got for us he's got nine goals out of 12 at the beginning he was a sub because i believe ledwoods was going to be number number one uh number one number nine but unfortunately he's only got six goals for assists but for 19 years old he is doing all right all right that's the end of today's video i hope you've enjoyed it if you've been watching the series and you've been liking it so far hit that like button it does wonders to the algorithm and sends it out to further people much appreciated and if you don't want to miss future content like this and also we do editor content too hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you on for the next one mm -hmm.